Hello students, now come to the next topic of this chapter. Next topic is when the two adjacent sides and three angles are given. So when two adjacent sides are given and three angles of a quadrant is given, how we will construct. See, uh, I have taken the example from our NCRT book. In NCRT book, uh, we have to construct quadrilater MIST where MI equal to 3.5, IS equal to 6.5. M equal to 75 degree, I equal to 105 degree and S equal to 120 degree. Let's draw first the rough sketch here. Suppose <coughs> like this. M, I, S, T. M, I is how much? 3.5 and I, S is how much? 6.5 centimeter, centimeter. M is 75 degree, I is 105 degree <coughs> and S is 120 degree. Now we have to construct our quadrilateral. Now listen, <coughs> in this uh, heading when the two adjacent sides uh, and three angles are given, now in this case we have to construct the angles. Remember that those angles which are multiple of 7.5 the angles which are multiple of 7.5 those angles you can construct with the help of compass is that clear other than that you have to use protector you know protector is that clear now how we will construct here <coughs> let's take the base here mi equal 3.5 so i will as i told you you will draw the line 3.5 here and 6.5 here anyway Let's take an uh, side 3.5 M I equal to 3.5 centimeter with the help of your scale. Now you have to construct 105 degree at I. So how you will construct? You will place the pin here on I and you will draw the arc like this. The arc will be like this. Okay, this is the point. In this way you will arc, you will make the arc, okay? Now, without changing this measurement, without changing this one, okay? After drawing the arc, without changing it, again place the pin in this point and put another arc here, okay? Like this, somewhere here you will get arc. Again you will put another arc in this direction. So you will put one arc here, okay? Now, <coughs> When you will place the pin at point I and if you start draw this curve then again you will place the pin here and you will put one arc mark this if you join this line it will create 60 degree here again you will put one mark another 60 degree so 60 degree 60 degree how much 120 degree anyway now we need to find 105 degree so now with these two intersecting intersecting point what you will do you will put one arc here and from this point you will work here so when you will place the pin here you will put one mark here in this direction and when here you will place the pin you will put one mark in this direction okay now if you draw a line through this intersection it will be a perpendicular means 90 degree so this is 60 degree and this is 30 degree means we are bisecting this angle the angle which will from through this point to this point it is bisected by this you know uh, intersection putting the pin on both the arc and put two arcs here so it is 30 degree so 60 plus 30 gives you 90 degree and how much you require to make this one uh, 105 15 degree so this is 30 degree if we divide this angle into half then we will get our 15 degree so it will be 105 now again you will place your pin in this place in this inter in this point and you will draw an arc and you will place the pin in this point and again you will draw an arc so it will look like this somewhere here like this okay in this way sorry it will look like this now if you join this line in this way it will be what how much 105 degree 
105 degree. Is that clear? See here, this is 60 degree. This one is 60 degree. 30 degree and 15 degree gives you how much 60 30 plus 15 105 degree now from i from i you can see s is 6.5 center away so you will measure it with the 6.5 here place the pin here and put an arc here so suppose somewhere here you cut the uh, this line and here it is supposed to be s so this distance how much 6.5 centimeter is that clear now you have to draw 120 degree on S in this direction. So from this point you will start constructing. As I told you, see when you will place the pin, you will put an arc without changing the compass. Again you will place the pin here in this direction and put one arc. Again put the pin here and again put one arc. So it's 60, 60 gives you 120. So simply we will draw this thing in here also. So we will put one arc here like this. Place the pin. The 60 plus the pin, this is 120. So if I join this line, it will move like this. 120. Is that clear? Now, <coughs> there is no measurement is given for TS. But one measurement is given in M, 75 degree. So how we will construct 75 degree? Remember that. This is our 60 degree. And up to 90, this 30 degree gives 90 degree. But if we make half of the 30, it will give them 15 degree. So 60 plus 15 gives you 70. So what we will do, we will put the pin here. We will try to draw an arc. Again, we will put one another arc 60 degree, another arc 60 degree, okay? Again, place the pin here, put one arc here. And again, place the pin here, put one arc here. So it gives you how much? Uh, sorry. This one. And this one. So it gives you... 90 degree. Once again, I let me show you something. Place the pin here. Draw the arc. You will draw the arc. Okay. After drawing the arc, now place the pin here. Put one arc here. Again, place the pin here. Put one arc here. In this direction. Is that clear? See. Arc like this. You will place the pin here. Put arc. Again, place the pin here. Put another arc. Again, place the pin here, put another arc. So, two arcs you've got. Now, from here, you will draw one arc here. And from here, you will draw one arc here. If you join this line, this will be 90 degree. Now, this is what? 60 plus 30. Half of 30 gives you 15. So, you will just touch the line here. Now, half of 30 means what? What you will do? You will place the pin here. And put an arc in this direction. Again, place the pin here and put another intersection. Okay? So place the pin here, put one cross mark, place the pin here, put another cross mark, okay? This is the intersecting point. Now if you join this line in this way, okay, it will give you straight line. Suppose I'm a little bit, it's not straight. So this is your required quadrilateral. See here, this is 75 degree, this is 100 and 20 degree so I hope you have understood this is very simple first draw the line 3.5 at I try to find 105 what you will do first first place the pin draw an arc okay now place the pin here first arc here another arc here so two arc you will got from here you will draw one arc here and one arc here this intersecting point if you join from this to this intersecting point it gives you 90 degree so if you cross this line means what 60 and 30 you are actually actually dividing this 60 degree into half now 60 plus 30 gives you 90 degree but you need another 15 degree so now if we divide this 30 degree into half it gives you 15 degree so 60 plus 30 plus 15 gives you 105 so what you will do place the pin in this direction put another arc here place the pin here and another arc here now if you join this one gives you 105 degree now measure 6.5 from here you will cross it so it gives you 6.5 now from here you need to draw 120 so you will place the pin here draw the arc like this then place the pin here another arc gives you 60 degree place the pin here another arc gives you another 60 degree 60 60 120 join this draw the line means arrow now from m 75 degree so first draw an arc then another arc 60 degree, another arc 60 degree. Now divide these two, 60 gives you 90 degree. 
so this is 60 plus 30 degree 90 degree now if we divide this 30 into half means 15 degree the 60 plus 15 gives 75 so place the pin here put another arc and place the pin here put another arc gives you intersecting point from this line to this if you draw a straight line then you will have your 75 degree it will meet at this line this ray at point t so this is our required quadrilateral so i hope you have understood this one thank you